It is now my great pleasure to introduce His Excellency Bintuk, the UAE Minister of Economy and the Chairman of the Securities and Commodities Authority. Your Excellency. Thank you, Sheikha. Thank you, Diana. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, Excellencies, distinguished guests, it's my pleasure to attend the Boys Summit, an event that has been designed to stimulate discourse and enhancing women's representation at the board level. Before I begin, I extend my heartiest congratulations to uh, the Royal Highness Sheikh Fadl bin Tabara, Chairwoman of, Chairwoman of the General Women's Union, President of the Supreme Council for Motherhood and Childhood, and Supreme Chairwoman of the Family Development Foundation on this year's occasion of Emirati Women's Day. As a UAE, it gives up to celebrate this year's Emirati Women under the, the theme of preparing for the next 50 years. Women are the support of the nation. This landmark occasion underscores the importance of our country, attaches to tapping into the value of diversity, inclusiveness to bring about a systematic change to boardroom environments. With a rapidly changing global economy, leaders are seeking effective methods to sustain economic growth with growing urgency and gender is an imperative factor that cannot be ignored in this regard. Among a total of 823 boards members of listed companies in the UAE, 29 are women which means that their representation in the boards are currently at 3.5%. In line with our efforts to promote gender balanced boards, the corporate governance rules in the UAE stipulate that the percentage of women representation in the board directors should not be less than 20% and require adherence to gender diversification policies. Excellencies, distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, we believe that gender equality is an inherent aspect of increasing the UAE global competitiveness. And I'm glad to add that much progress has been achieved in this regard as evident by the many initiatives towards enhancing the participation of women across government and businesses. This achievement of gender parity in the public sector is found to contribute to reduce inequality rates, considerably improve public confidence in government institution. Empowerment of women in public leadership positions not only lead to higher living standards, positive developments in health, education, and infrastructure, but also has an impact on potential long-term growth effects. In the private sector, Greater gender equality is also found to increase the competitiveness of the labor market, boost, boost productivity gains and expand the talent pool from which employee, employers can choose. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, the UAE Vision 2021 clearly reflects the commitment of the UAE government and leadership to improve gender parity as a means to achieve progress. The UAE's overarching goal to be among the best countries in the world by 2021 also envisages the achievement of full equitable participation of both women and men in UAE organization, including decision-making and leadership position. In line with Aurora 50 initiative, and the co-founder, Sheikh Hashem bin Sultan bin Khalifa al Nahyan and Diana Wild, Aurora 50 launched the 20 for 2020 initiative, which is aimed at driving gender balance at board level. This makes the UAE the first country in the Middle East and the second world to launch such initiative. Currently, in light with the current circumstances following the pandemic situation, it's even more important to expedite the development of women in order to enable them to assume leadership and board directorship, which in turn is needed for good corporate governance, economic sustainability, organizations such as Aurora 50 play a significant role in driving this change. And it's indeed a matter of pride for us to be working with Aurora 50 to ensure availability of promising opportunities of Emirati women. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the UAE remains keen to provide equal opportunities for women to enhance their participation in various fields of work in both public and private sector. We are proud that women make up for about 66% of the UAE government workforce today. Moreover, 90% of public education graduates who enroll in universities are women and 70% of university graduates are, are in the UAE are women. Furthermore, through setting a policy for candidacy for membership of the board of directors and executive management and by instituting a range of incentives training programs, we look forward to preparing more Marathi women to enter boardrooms. As the chairman of the Emirates Security and Commodities Authority and the Insurance Authority, it is my honor and privilege to oversee such initiatives. Therefore, it's not surprising that the country topped by many relevant global indicators in these areas that take us closer to the goals of the UAE Vision 2021. I commend the efforts and success of every woman who contributed to the country's achievement in this regard. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency, for joining us um, and for your commitment both to Aurora 50 and to the UAE. 
Um, it's a pleasure to have you with us today. Our next session will be at 11.30, and we will look forward to welcoming you back for a one-to-one -one between Rachel Petha and Michelle Carno. We look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.